of AEW and speaking of William Regal, his his uh, his former protege, if you will, is starting a new feud. All right. Because the battle between Ricky Starks and Maxwell Jacob Friedman uh, has begun. It, be, it begun last night on AEW Dynamite with a very intense promo exchange and they will be facing each other for the AEW World Championship at Winter is Coming. But I wanted to know your first impressions on this feud. Now that we have it, now that we have MJF and Ricky, how do you feel? I'm so excited because they were two talents that were birthed out of AEW that I immediately disliked. Not because of me going on social media and being influenced by other people, not because they were forced down our throats. They are very organic, very like easy to like. They feel new. And that's something that I feel like is important because, again, the thing that sucks about being um, a wrestling fan of this generation is that you you look at people and then they constantly remind you of something else because, you know, I get it. They grew up watching wrestling like us. Um, so it's nice to see something new and not like a homage, a, an homage being act. So I like the fact that they are homegrown talents. They're very good at what they do. Um, they're alike, but different. They look, they seem like two different bodies of work. Um, and I mean, again, it's been a long time coming for both with NJF getting the title and us seeing Ricky Starks being utilized properly. And I love that he, he is going to be, um, MJF's first feud. Um, it does make me a set though. He is going to lose. Like we are expecting an L out of this. You're not going to have MJF just fucking, you know. But I feel like it's great to at least give him shine where needed because I do feel like every time they give Ricky Starks an opportunity, it kind of falls flat, doesn't really go anywhere, it doesn't make sense. This is a few where I feel like regardless if he does win or lose, it's going to help the both of them out. It's going to give MJF his first legitimate um, feud to go towards his title. And I feel like for Ricky Starks, um, it's going to be like something concrete on paper that like, again, makes him feel like a legitimate talent as opposed to just being like, you know, uh, like, like a side act. Cause I don't look at him as a mid card. I feel like he could be a main event guy, but this is a nice way to build him by putting him around other important people. Hmm. What do you think? I agree with you. I am very, very excited about the MJF versus Ricky Starks feud because, number one, Ricky was letting that man have it last night on Dynamite. I was able yeah. to catch the promo a little bit on Twitter, and then I was able to watch it a little bit later. But to hear Ricky come out the way that he did and to hear Ricky and his charisma and his aura and his promo skills, in addition to his in-ring ability, uh, coupled with the – the treatment he's been getting over the past some odd months, it's very, very clear to me that Ricky Starks is a main eventer. He's a main event talent. MJF is a main event talent. And to see, like you said, two homegrown talent uh, hit this level and be operating on this level, I feel like it's perfect timing. Now, unfortunately, we, like you said, I do expect uh, for MJF to take that W when it comes to winter is coming. But I feel like this is going to be another star-making match or star-making moment for Ricky Starks. I believe that this is going to send him into the stratosphere. And I think that it's interesting that MJF uh, is labeling this kind of era as the reign of terror. Because if you notice, when Triple H had a reign of terror uh, back in 2004, there were multiple people that even though he beat them, he made them stars. Example, Randy Orton. Example, Chris Benoit. Example, re bring like reintroducing Shawn Michaels back into the main event scene. Um, so Triple H, even though he had a reign of terror similar to how MJF is having a reign of terror, Triple H was able to make stars. And I think that MJF wants to do the same thing. I think that low-key MJF wants to make stars with the feuds and the and the promos that he's doing. And so it's gonna be very, very interesting to kind of see what comes what comes of this but we want to know what you guys think about about this feud uh, about mjf and uh ricky star 